weld a nut to a broken stud. How about just a glob of weld? Because we were having big time troubles getting a nut onto that stud. We kept trying, trying, trying. I thought the thing was never going to come out. Well, sort of, but I never got mad. I never got pissed off. Just kept on cracking at it. Built it up. Got some vice grips on it. Started turning back and forth, back and forth. It's out. Now we got a broken bolt and a blue truck in the back. Gotta get this thing back. But on freaking believable, man. That's history. The first try of uh, getting a bolt out of the welder. You gotta keep trying. You don't give up. You don't get mad to say you're gonna do it. And it gets done. Now it's not gonna happen the first time. Not gonna happen the second time. We're probably on this like 15 times. Take a little break. Think about it. Take a little break. Think about it. And uh, yeah, screwed up a lot of nuts all over the floor, a lot of washers, but who cares? It's out. Doesn't matter how you did it. It just matters that you get there. So that's cool. Now I think where my eyes hurt now from this thing. I shocked myself at least twice like an idiot because I thought it was down and it wasn't. Bleh. Not smart. It's like getting laser eye surgery. But I'll make it happen. Well, that's the welder I used. Again, it's not mine. Chicago welding. Maybe the Midwestern people from Chicago help me out on this one. <laughs> uh, oh, it's only 20 amp, this thing. That was more. 22 gauge. And I guess I was playing around like 7.5, 8. It was like the best wire speed. When you crank it up more, too much wire was coming out. It was just like... I know you don't want too much wire coming out of the tip. I remember that from my welding friend about 10 years ago when he used to build stuff at school.